Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Union Cross. It's been a crazy morning. Um, I had to go out with Anthony this morning. My truck, my truck wasn't working. Turned out to be a battery. Went to go buy a new battery. Everything's good now. And then this update happened. A trailer came out for Kingdom Hearts 3. A uh, lot of things actually that I want to talk about very soon. But this update did bring in two new foretellers that actually come into each other's banners if you're lucky. Key Art 18. And if you guys didn't know, the guilting campaign is actually active now, all the way until October 1st, I believe. But we're going to jump into the notice and we're going to talk about everything. I'm going to talk about the KR18 and brush up on the four tailors because I already made a video on that. But now that they came into each other's banners, it gives it a little bit, I guess, no, it's just still not worth it. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it. Just like last year, they were replaced in like three weeks. Do you really want to spend 30,000 jewels for three weeks worth of metals? Uh, I don't know. Not their strength. But let's talk about everything that's here. So... Starting off is Kingdom Hearts 3, Sora and Kairi avatar boards are coming back. Uh, the Sora and Kairi ones are pretty good. They have attack boost 6 max on them. SP gauge 1, which attack boost 8, attack boost 8, which just released in Coliseum. Uh, so attack boost 8 max will be around the corner. But 6 max isn't too far off. So even 6 max is still pretty good. And if you're running out of attack boosts, 1500 jewels for all of this put together is pretty amazing. And if you guys really like Kingdom Hearts, I'm pretty sure you're going to get the... The Kingdom Hearts 3, Sora, or Kairi. Even though Kairi looks really freaky. But <laughs> the, avatar, the other avatar board, you can kind of skip on. Uh, it's got Second Chance 3 if you guys want Second Chance. But there's also Second Chance in pretty much everything. Other avatar boards are going to have Second Chance 4. If you really want a Second Chance, you can go for this if you don't have it. It still has a skill perk on the earrings for the male and female. And of course, you have the Power Gem in there. Magic Mirrors, Magic Broom, so on and so on. 1500 Jewels. For attack boost 6 max and a bunch of other stuff is not a bad idea if you guys need it, especially if you're new. Those are good avatar boards, but make sure you buy the other avatar boards that are currently here for another couple days. They're they're way better. They don't have the second chance on it, but they're they're way better. Where are they? Yeah, these ones. So I already purchased one on each of my accounts. I'm just waiting till the last day for these ones, but they do have attack boost 7 max, uh, 7 max SP gauge 0. I don't know why I can't speak today. And it has attack boost 6 max and Lux++, plus, plus, plus defense boost 4. There's no second chance in here, but there's other ways of getting second chance. And also, you have the hat with skill perk. So you can get a lot of skill perk if you purchase like both these boards. But right there is 4,500 jewels. That is a lot of jewels. Uh, so take it lightly, honestly. Just be careful with what you spend because you might miss it on a good Mercy Pole medal. Uh, but that's the Avatar boards. Uh, don't want to touch up on that too much. If you need the skills, go for it. It's a no-brainer. You can't get skills any other way except for skills to thrill, and that's just skills with a couple random medals. I prefer Avatar boards, especially when they cost 1,500 jewels. Uh, so next up, we got get 7-star HD, Era, and Envy. Now, they're both Mercy Pole 10, so 30,000 jewels to get this, and I think that's absolutely like ridiculous but compared to non mercy pole banners people spend way more on that right so at least it's a mercy pole 10 i respect that it comes with skill every turn vip coins magic mirrors you've got a trait medal once you do pull the medal and it's only a tier 5 not a tier 6 and 7 like jp if it was a tier 6 or 7 7 star medal I would say that the banner is kind of worth it. If you have the 30,000 jewels, go for it because you might get some 7-star uh, tier 7s along the way, which is really good. And if they came with skills, even better. But their tier 5s are coming with this. Uh, tier 5s are going to come to an end very soon. Tier 6s are going to start showing up and 7s at the same time because I don't think tier 6s have enough value as the 7-star to have their own banners. Uh, I think they're going to jump right to tier 7s. So... It's up to you guys what you want to do with this, but in all honesty, if you do get Era, Ava, Envy, Gula, Ossid, any of them, if you get any of the foretellers, they are the second best AoE damage dealers in the game. Me personally, their buffs and debuffs do not justify the 30,000 jewels. Their damage doesn't justify the 30,000 jewels. It's a lot of jewels. It's a lot of five mercy pulls. It's a lot of future avatar boards. It's a lot of things. And I know you can't really just keep skipping every medal, but... Guys, last year, foretellers were around not even that long. And people who did pull for the foretellers barely used them. Some people, they just don't have that oomph that I'm looking for uh, to justify that much. And I can't even afford it anyways. I don't got 30,000 jewels to go for. Uh, but they are there. If you pull from one banner, you have a chance of getting the other medal in that banner. Not Ava, just these two are combined together. So when Gula and Austin come out, they're going to be the same thing as Ira and Envy here. They're going to be shared. So if I decide I'm going to pull 10 times for Ira here, 
I have a chance of getting Envy, Envy in Era's banner. But if I pull Envy, I have a chance of getting Era. So you do have a chance of getting the medal in the other one. I might be wrong about Ava. I didn't really look at the draw odds for that. Let me check that just to be safe. All right, so I'm not wrong. Ava's not in this one. Uh, it's just Era and Envy. You do have a chance of getting Kyrie and Shion EX Plus, which is the Kai version. So along the way, while you're pulling for this, you might get lucky. But again, guys, it's a heavy price. And once you pull for these, you are out. If you really want to pull for it, I recommend waiting the 15 days. So it counts as one, and you have 14 more days after that. Plenty of time. Uh, Riku, you guys pull for Riku. I've seen Twitter. I've seen Discord. Some of you guys got lucky. Some of you wasted all your jewels and got nothing. I still highly recommend getting these instead. Five turns, all-around buffer, great. They don't do a lot of damage, but you don't need a full Keyblade set of damage. It'll help, but really, 30,000 jewels? It's a huge, huge price. You can pull both of these for 30,000, and in PvP, you got perfect buffers for two Keyblade setups, where 30,000 is only going to get you one of these, depending on your luck. Um, you can't go wrong. Do what you guys want to do. If you really like the Foretellers and you got 30,000 jewels laying around, second best AoE metal damage in the game. But I prefer single target and random metals because they conquer a lot more of the game than these ran uh, AO sorry, yeah, AoE ones. If you guys don't know what AoE is, AoE is basically area effect, so it attacks all enemies at once. So, Foretellers, I have a whole video on it if you want to go a little bit more detail. The banners are a little bit better that they can be pulled from each one, but again, it's all up to you guys. I'm going to skip on that on both my accounts, just like I did last year. Everyone told me I was crazy. Everyone said Foretellers are amazing. And I was like, nah, I'm skipping on them. And it turned out to be really good. Something amazing came right after. And I mean, like, way better. So uh, that's up to you guys. Go for what you got to go for. Keyart 18 VIP quest. Uh, of course, every VIP has been giving a gold ticket out. Uh, they raised a little sneak peek into the future tomorrow. We're going to get a super PvP week. Right now, JP has it. Uh, first place has like six gold tickets, five gold tickets, four gold tickets, three gold tickets. Like it's a super week. So now that we have better PvP rewards, when we get those super weeks, the rewards are even better. Like it's crazy how much there is. And I think um, top 4,000 or 5,000 or something like that get like five silver tickets. So uh, it's pretty, pretty good. They're raising them, but that means fairy tickets are becoming more common, meaning they're going to start losing their value, especially for top players. They're not going to need that many tier 8s or tier 7s or any tier metal after a while. You're just waiting for the next best thing. But if you collect them and they come up with prime medals for tier 8s, tier 7s, that's a different story. That's why I haven't really guilted anything on this account for tier 8s and 7s. But we're going to talk about Keyart 18, so be ready for tomorrow's super PvP. Keyart 18. Just like the Foretellers, it's a buffer. It comes with cool artwork, but in all honesty, no one really pops in the artwork once in a while. It's nice to see, that's for sure. Metal looks absolutely amazing, but for what it does, uh, the rest of the VIP, by the way, Magic Brooms, Gems, Magic Mirror, standard stuff, no Chippendale still, no experience quests, just your regular regular stuff that you got going on every week, including the gold ticket, and 4,400 jewels. So the pack is not bad uh, when you look at it. But let's talk about Kirit18 and what he does. All right, I'm going to cut in right here. Uh, did this video, uploaded everything, didn't realize that this said one attack on it and not one turn. Now everything, if you guys watched this video already, was pretty much true except that one attack ruins this metal. Uh, this metal is only good for himself. Once he activates, he gets the buff and debuffs the enemy and no one else. He's not that strong of a tier 8. He would have been cool if he was one turn. He could have worked with the new nominee, being an AoE metal, having all those buffs and debuffs, not being overwrite. Would have been great, but when it comes down to it, he just doesn't have the power that all the other tier 8s have. And of course, it's a VIP medal, so VIP medals that have been good so far were illustrated in Invisible. That was a great medal. But this guy right here, uh, I'm going to redo this whole entire part. I'm going to talk about where he stands in this system of tier 8 because he's just not worth it. So this is going to be a quick little touch up on this guy since he's one attack which only benefits himself. He's not that strong. He's not that crazy good. He does have all the buffs and debuffs for uh, general, magic, and uprights. He's got a not so decent multiplier. He's stronger than some tier 6s. Actually all tier 6s but he's the weakest of the tier 8. He's like 4th weakest compared to the other VIP medals that came out before him. The Axel, the Toon Roxas, so on and so on. So, 
it's a big skip on this guy. If you guys do want to get him, you're just getting for the 4400 jewels and all the quests, the magic brooms, the gems, the magic mirrors. There's no Chippendales, there's no experience quest. Uh, you do have five rerolls, but in all honesty, since he only takes care of himself and he's only at a 40 multiplier, he's just not worth it. If you take tier 8, single attack, and random, and we look at the max guilt special on this, you're going to see that he's all the way down here. Um, right here, 40. Again, Toon Roxas, the Axel, have 39s, and then once you go from him to the next tier 8, right away you can start seeing Lexius, Psyx, the other VIP medals doing better, high score challenge medals doing better, and all future tier 8 medals are most likely going to do better than this VIP medal. So this is another big flop of a, P a VIP medal. Illustrate Invisible has been the best one since it came out. After that, they've been kind of... Meh, and a big skip. I wouldn't say there's anything unique about him. If it is one attack and not one turn, uh, this needs to be fixed. Uh, definitely, he would definitely be worth it for one turn because you nominate would copy him. This nominee right here, making him an AOE medal, having all the buffs and debuffs, all that good stuff. But he just, he just doesn't have it. So this is a good skip, guys. A good skip. Great looking medal, like I said. But besides that. Multiplier is only 40, and out of tier 8 fairies, this is not the metal you guys want to make. You can get extra attack on this, you can get negative 60 on this, plus 1,000. It's just, just not worth it, guys. Even, even with that plus 10 counters that he adds to the enemy um, while doing some damage, it could turn out pretty good in some situations, but again, uh, I just don't feel that this is worth it for a tier 8 medal out of everything else. I had a whole different section for this. Anyone that got to watch the original video, you know the ideas I had for this medal, but now that's all down. But KR18, let's carry on to the rest of the video. That's uh, KR18, let's jump into the next notice, which is uh, Starlight Glasses. Uh, did it say reprint? For some reason, I thought I'd just say reprint. Star spirit parts. Sorry, spirit parts. So you get the your pet gets a nice cool glasses from Starlight Glasses. There's been a Starlight theme this whole time. I actually really like the Uni Cross boss right there. The little what do you call it? <laughs> Elephant uh, car there. That looks awesome. I can't wait to face it. Uh, everything else is pretty standard. You get the magic mirrors, magic brooms, uh, two boards of each. So you get a big hefty amount and then you get let's celebrate. There's bonus hours. Unicross has a change. Make sure you do Unicross. It's here for one week, uh, which is plenty of time to pass it, especially how easy it is with a big group of people. And if you get a couple whales in there or lucky people, that's going to go even faster. But that's what your party's for. And of course, we have the close hand captain raid event, which was just like uh, the pony one we just had. It's here for the whole week. It's got the same uh, rewards, magic brew, magic mirrors, chip and dales. I don't think it comes with any kind of avatar parts, which we can go look at real quick. Um, but while I'm looking at this, again, guys, the guilding campaign is here. It's here until October 1st. I believe I read somewhere and it was a mistake. I don't know if they're going to do anything about that mistake, but oh, it's not here yet. This has to go away still, and then the raid event will come here. But yeah, if you guys haven't done your boards yet, you can still purchase your boards if you have any coins. Uh, but like I was talking about the guilting campaign, I don't think they really updated it in-game and told us. Let me double check. No, they did. They did. Right there. It says updated 9-9. So we're going to click on that. And bonus jewel campaign. Uh, that's their guilting campaign. Here we go. September 10th, 12 a.m. to September 30th, which is October 1st, basically. So you guys have until the end of the month, October 1st, it's gone. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do anything about it, send it all an apology, or help people that guilted medals when they weren't supposed to guilt it. I don't know, but guilty campaign is active now. So go crazy, have fun, raid event, just like the other one. You have the magic broom in there. You got probably 300 jewels, like the first avatar board. So... Lots and lots of farming. I think I'm pretty much done the whole giraffe. All I need is this. I didn't really farm a lot, and I didn't complete the boards. Ooh, I got I got jewels here. So that is it for this update. It's all what you guys want to do from this point. Uh, Content-wise, you got rating, which is great. I'm still looking forward to the high score challenge. If these foretellers are connected towards the high score challenge, that's going to be really tough, especially for people who don't want to pull for foretellers. We're basically going to lose out on the high score challenge medal. But I don't think they are going to do that, and that's why there hasn't been a high score challenge. The foretellers are kind of expensive, and I feel like they're going to come up with different mercy pull medals, and those medals are going to be like the 21% and stuff like that. I think the foretellers are probably going to be something lower. Even though they're they're more expensive, if another metal comes out after these, I think they're going to be worth more. Especially the Riku currently, he's not a mercy pull. He might be the higher percentage as well. That's if we get a high score challenge though. Um, there is Leon and 
Leon and Cloud, and they just came out with uh, Final Form Xehanort's, which is there as well. So we have two high score challenge medals and other ones we miss, but we don't know if we're ever going to see Nick and Judy. So we'll see what happens from there. But that is pretty much for the update. Everything's there. Guilting campaign. PvP rewards are going to be increased. Today's the last day for PvP. So if you're able to stay up, leave your uh, tries for the end. If not, just do them right before bed so you don't get pulled out too much. Because uh, right now, you will be pulled. People are playing right now, but it gets really active near the nighttime. Besides that, guys, go crazy. Union Cross, don't forget Coliseum and everything else is there. Now, I'm going to go watch the new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer. And I've been spoiled to shit because of Twitter and everyone else. And I even got pinged in a spoiler section in Discord. And I saw something I didn't want to see. So I know a little bit. Didn't go for research. I know a little bit, but I'm still going to watch it. All right. <laughs> if you guys want to leave anything down below about this update, anything you guys want to talk about the foretellers or the VIP medal. Again, this is what I'm doing. I'm skipping. Let me know what you guys are doing. Do you want the foretellers? Did you pull for them? And I know a lot of you guys did. Uh, so let us know down below how they're helping you out in the game. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling and I'll see you in the next one.